Well, the day has finally arrived. This gal is completing another trip around the sun, and this is a big one. This is a really big one. A milestone. I am turning the big 5-0. And I've been thinking about this birthday for a number of years, and I imagine those of you who have already reached 50 remember that time where you're like, oof, this is a big one, half a century. What are you going to do? You go on a big trip. How are you going to celebrate, have a big party? And all of those thoughts cross my mind too. But I thought there are many things I want to do now that this age has arrived. And it, it's not just one thing. It's not just one trip. It's not just one party. It's living with intention, right? And while this day has been coming around, as I've been telling people, you know, this is the big 5 birthday. I feel that people who have already reached that age suddenly want to open up with you and share their words of wisdom, you know, those wisdom bombs, their sage advice. And it's been really beautiful to hold space for people just sharing openly, you know, sometimes I haven't even asked, they just share openly. And as I've been collecting all this beautiful data, right, this wisdom data, I realized that's the podcast. That's it. That's how I want to share this podcast, this episode with you, because I wouldn't be here without my listeners, right? And I've said it millions of times before that every guest I have on this podcast is like a masterclass. I learned something. So I could have somebody come on and talk about longevity, but we've done that already. We've had Dan Butner on the show talking about the blue zones and living well into the 100s. And I could have somebody come on and talk about rocking the midlife, but we've done that. We've had Dr. Ellen Albertson come on and talk about that and many others, right? But I thought this podcast would not be possible without amazing listeners like you. And this is time for me to sit back and and really live with intention and live my word, which is to amplify this year. That's my word of the year in 2023. So I thought with all these folks that have been sharing with me over the last couple of months, especially, I'm going to turn that baton over, that mic baton over to my listeners. And I put that message out there. You might've seen it. I, I've been asking those over 50 to share what their sage advice is, what their wisdom is, what their biggest takeaway has been since turning 50, 50 and beyond, really. And boy, did I get some powerful messages. So that is what this episode is about, learning from those and really taking a step back to be an active listener and share these powerful messages that have been shared with me that people have graciously taken the time to record and share so that I could share it on the podcast with you. So we're going to do that. That's what this week is about, is learning from those who have already reached the mark. And I'm sure at some point I'll be one of those folks too that's sharing. But today, this week, it's about you. It's about them. It's about taking the time to just be present and witness the power of generations before us. Hey, Hillary, this is Janice Person, and I'm with the podcast Grounded by the Farm. I love that you asked some of us who've already hit that milestone a chance to talk to you about celebrating hitting that big milestone of 50. I remember it seemed so much bigger. All my friends had talked about the fact that's when they started getting AARP cards and weird stuff like that. I'm not sure, but it seemed more intimidating than any of the other dates on a calendar. And instead, what I have found is it's a time to really celebrate the life that I want to lead and do that with abandon. So the 50s is when I left my corporate career and started my own business. It's when I started a podcast. I celebrated the event of turning 50 by being in a helicopter flying over my 50th state and really kind of accomplishing some of the things I wanted to do. And I think that's what the 50s are for me. It's an opportunity to create that meaning, that adventure, that deep connection with others. Whatever it is that you have for your life, 
you know yourself well, you know other people so deeply, and you can really crush it in your 50s. Happy birthday, Hillary. Hi, Hillary. It's Sarah Heiner, 62 years young and calling you from Colorado to wish you a happy, happy birthday. You know, 50 sounds big, but I promise you, as a 62-year-old, you will be just fine. That number sounds so big when you're looking at it. But once you pass the big day, you can wear it with pride. Because guess what? You're just as beautiful today as you were yesterday and as you were last week. So the number is just a number. So here's my advice to you on turning 50. Just keep looking forward. Keep doing what you're doing and being who you're being. And don't fall prey to all that old speak where everyone sits around talking about what they can't do anymore because they're too old and their aches and their pains. Forget about it. As I tell my people in my Chemistry of Happiness program, our thoughts control how we feel both physically and emotionally. So keep your thoughts young and that's how you'll be. Enjoy. Have a great birthday. Hey, Hillary, it's your friend and podcast fan, Michael Perlo here in South Jersey. So what have I learned since I turned 50, which was at least a couple of years ago now? I think the biggest thing I've learned is that I'm not old. I am still very young with God willing many years to come. And I feel 50 is the beginning of the prime years of your life. Personally, professionally, there's so much you can accomplish and go after and make happen and live an experience. And it all comes down to thinking young at 50 something, just like you might have years ago at 20 something. So in my opinion, at 52 plus, my best years are yet to come. Hey guys, this is Christine Mola from the Bloom Center, a holistic health and wellness center and artisan boutique in Farmington, Connecticut. And I'm here to give a shout out of one great piece of advice that I can give you from life after 50. And I can tell you that it is youth is not wasted on the young. Take that um, wisdom that you had, the lessons that you've learned and use it. Remember who you are and awaken every day knowing that this is a journey and the destination is the best. So just take that moment, use your wisdom, and understand that that is your gift to the world. So good luck, guys, in your third season of life. It is the best, and enjoy, and always stay blooming. Hi, my name is Hyacinth Myers, and I am in the UK, in London. I'm 51 years old, and my bit of wisdom, really, about this age, it really centers around a quote or a motto I came up with a few years ago, which is, we are not victims of our circumstances. We are soul conscious creators. And I think as we get up to this age, into the fifth decade of our lives, we realize that everything that has happened has happened to bring us to where we are today. And this part of our life, I believe, is such a blessing because this is a part where everything we've been through, everything we've created, everything we have lived is actually pushing us to think about legacy, how we support and empower others, and also how to bring everything together so that we are soul aligned and integrated. Uh, my podcast is Stand Up For Your Soul that can be found on many networks and I would love to wish Hillary a happy, happy birthday. Thank you. Hi, this is Bill. I'm from Tampa Bay area. I'm 63 years old and have been retired for a couple years now. The one thing I want to say is that when you retire... Everyone looks at the financial side of retirement, but you have to also look at the non-financial side and you have to have an identity and a purpose. So let's rock retirement. Greetings everyone. 
My name is Mitzi. I am a graceful 51. What have I learned? <laughs> I think it's more like what experiences have I not had the pleasure of not experiencing yet. But I think one of the things that I would always pass down to anyone at this graceful point in my life is wisdom. You've lived long enough to really make a ton of mistakes and the more mistakes you make or what may be deemed as a mistake, that's the more wins and more lessons that you're able to, um, to come through and be victorious over. Find your tribe and stick with them. Love them, enjoy them, have card nights, do silly stuff, be Thelma and Louise, because now you can be the kid you always wanted to be. And find the friend that's younger than you, that looks older than you, and go places and call her mom. <laughs> that's fun. Over 50 is not bad. Five years, you get the senior discount. 50 is fun. Hillary, love you. Happy birthday. Enjoy. 50? You're just getting started. Enjoy approaching those starting blocks and looking forward to the best chapters of your life yet. Woohoo! Now that I'm way over 50, the things that I can tell you is that make sure that whatever you do during the day is worthwhile, stay active, and have fun. Okay, this is a recording for my sister's birthday, 50. Uh, and I just wanted to say, when I'm thinking about 50, I'm thinking about reincarnation, thinking about reinvention uh, of, of the, the second part of your life. It's an opportunity to stop down, look at it, change what needs to be changed. Less is more, get rid of all the things that don't serve you. And, um, you know, the lighter you are, the faster you go. So you have the first part of your life to figure it out, second part to reinvent it. So that's the advice. Happy birthday. This is your mother, Hillary. And although there may be many things that I could say that I think are worthwhile to learn as you get older, and make your life better. The most important piece of information that I can think of right now, that I think is worthy of everybody heeding, is not to think, not to feel that we're right every time something happens. Everybody has an opinion and everybody should be considered to be right as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else, because there are many roads that lead to the same destination. And just because somebody doesn't think the way you do doesn't mean they're not going to accomplish their goals. I just want you to know I love you. As far as I'm concerned, you have accomplished so much in your lifetime that I'm in awe of you and very proud of you. Love you. Oh my goodness. It is so empowering to hear these words. I mean, how is it impacting you? I, I would love to know. In fact, I would love for you to reach out and tell me how this episode has touched, moved, and inspired you. You can record a wisdom bomb of your own, right? You can go to speakpipe.com slash holistically speaking. Let me know what you think about this episode. Let me know if you didn't get a chance to share on this episode and you are 50 and over, go ahead and share your sage advice, your, your wisdom, your takeaway, or just share your kind, thoughtful responses because I will share them on the show. That's really what I'm going to be doing going forward is really incorporating more of the listener into the show as much as possible because I wouldn't be here without you. And I am so glad you're here. It really inspires me. And if you have a question about any of those episodes that we did share or any others, 
definitely let me know. You know, drop me a line at holisticallyspeaking at gmail.com or any way that you want to get in touch with me on social media. I'll share everything in the listen notes. We'll be doing more of those speak pipes going forward. I'll be asking you to submit your voice and amplify your voice so we can share it here on the podcast. I got a number of really wonderful episodes coming up where I'm going to want to hear from you. I always want to hear from you. So definitely take that time. And I have to say, if I were to share my own advice, my own takeaway from life since 50, since I hit the mark, or just even years prior, I'd have to say this. The most important thing is just to be present, to really live with intention, and to be comfortable in the uncomfortable and enjoy the perfect now. And the perfect now are those moments that are sometimes just fleeing, right? We forget about just being present. Take that time because as I've said before, time will continue to move on, but it's not promised to us, right? So I know I plan to live with intention, live with bringing more joy into my life and spending time with myself as much as I will spend time with others who I love and connect with and new people that I connect with just like you. So I wish you well and laugh as much as possible. Enjoy the day, live in the perfect now, and as always, be kind to your mind. I'll see you next week. Thanks for sharing this time with me.